guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and I am so happy to be here with you guys today. We are doing some base reviews, so I hope that you guys are ready for this. I haven't done these in a couple of weeks, but now with the new update and everything going on, we need to go over some fourth mortar designs. So some of these aren't going to have fourth mortar, some of them will. So definitely make sure that you guys send your bases to base reviews with mold at gmo.com and we can go ahead and review your base and see how it's going. So this is a Town Hall 9. This base is obviously going to be different at this point uh, because of the fact that there is <coughs> a fourth mortar now. So, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I got something in my throat. So we'll go ahead and just go over the basics of this because some of you don't have upgraded fourth mortars. One thing I would definitely say not to do is design your base around the fourth mortar if it's only level two or three, something like that. You want to upgrade it first and then design your base around it. Otherwise, you're going to have a weak side of your base, all right? So first off, these mortars are triangulated. So he did great with that. And then his wizard towers are in a square as well. So that's perfect. Um, the wor One thing that I just noticed... <laughs> is how low level your wizard towers are. That needs to change. Wizard towers are super important and they definitely need to be upgraded. Um, this whole inner section looks kind of interesting. I'm not sure how well that'll work, um, but who knows. As you can see, the, uh, the mortars definitely cover a good amount of the base, so the range is probably like here, here, and here, something along those lines. It's probably around that. So that's not too bad. Now you're going to have a fourth mortar. So I would put your fourth mortar right here and just move that uh, elixir storage like somewhere like right here because it doesn't really matter if it's just one of them and you have four. So you will be fine there. Uh, your, your air defenses are super exposed. So when you do redesign your base, make sure that you put those inward a little bit because they're really, really exposed. This base that you have is trying to do too much. It's trying to protect all of this loot right here and your town hall. You got to make up your mind. You either got to protect loot or you got to protect your town hall if you want to be effective at it. You can do both, but if you get attacked, people are just going to crush you because you have to have your priorities straight. And you are only in gold three, so I don't know why your town hall is in the middle. Um, so biggest thing would be making up your mind, taking, taking these things out uh, or taking the town hall out, get it out of here, <laughs> and uh, and bringing in some more defenses to help protect, like your wizard towers and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and move on from Bam Bam to Smiles underscore Man. Fourth mortar base right here, town hall eight farming base. Great to see. This looks just it is. This is a a build off of my uh, town hall ten farming base, and I'm gonna be honest, it looks great at town hall seven too, or town hall eight. I really like the way this looks. So. We got our mortars in here, super, super safe, super protected, great job with that. I love, love, love the way that that looks. You got your wizard towers in here protecting this and this, so great job with that. You got this wizard tower down here. It is a little bit exposed, um, but that's okay. If I were to change anything about that, uh, it might be... No, that's fine. Your wizard tower is fine there. Uh, I would probably just have some traps right in here maybe maybe a, a giant bomb or some spring traps maybe something along those lines where are your skeleton traps so i'm not seeing your skeleton traps yet you do have this yay uh i would put your skeleton traps right down here uh looks like they might be in here i'm not sure but if not put those down there they will help protect that wizard tower for you otherwise this base i'm really really loving it i think it looks great whoa didn't mean to do that <laughs> I just screwed everything up. But there we go. All right. <laughs> so uh, as I was saying, you have your wizard tower, your wizard tower is triangulated. You got your uh, mortars in a square now. This air defense up here is kind of exposed, um, but at least you have this one and this one. We can go ahead and clear this out. At least you have those other two in the middle, so you are doing just fine with that. Your Teslas are in the middle, looking great. Um, I really like this base. It's worked super well for me, so great job modifying it for Town Hall 8. Looks really, really good, man. We are going to move on now to Owen. Now, Owen, one big thing that I noticed about this base, so obviously it is a farming base. Um, first of all, all of these are too close together. If somebody breaks into, if somebody breaks in right here, they drop a wall breaker and it goes right there, you're done for. Uh, so you need to figure out a way to, to work around that. One thing I would say to do also is your wizard towers are way too far away from your storages. So I would almost put a wizard tower right here, 
wizard tower right here and then um, do something with these walls bring them out maybe like this and like this to help protect this T junction right here because you really want to make sure that, that T junction is safe otherwise you're going to get in a lot of trouble so I would put maybe a cannon right here and maybe a cannon right here or something along those lines um, and then figure out what to do with your mortars as well because <clears throat> Um, they are triangulated right now, and that looks really, really good, but your wizards need to be up by your resources for sure. So uh, protect this T-joint most of all. That's going to be really important for you, and getting your wizards up here towards your loot is going to be super important as well. You're kind of wasting these walls right here, so I would figure out some way to do that. Obviously, some of them are going to go to these two boxes right here, but if you do that, I think it'll, uh, I think it'll work out. I think it'll make a big difference on your base defensively and protecting your resources. So let's go on to Mikardo, uh, another fourth mortar base right here. Looks really, really good. The uh, the mortars are really close to the center. Uh, I would almost consider spreading them out some. Uh, maybe even putting the mortars right here, 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 and here because that way they are a little bit further out and they protect the base uh, better. I think they would definitely protect the base better like that rather than um, like this. It looks like it might be a little bit bigger. I'm not sure how much larger, but it definitely is um, bigger because the gap from this to this is longer or shorter than the gap from that to that. So um, <clears throat> I would put those there and uh, maybe bring your resources then in these areas, something along those lines. Uh, try it out. If it doesn't work, you don't have to do it. <laughs> uh, I do like the, uh, the wizard placement. It, it looks okay. Uh, they are pretty spread out from each other. The whole top portion of this base doesn't have any wizard tower uh, defense, and you've got two resources up there. So um, I might consider switching the... Let's see here. If you could get a wizard tower right here and put an air defense right here maybe, uh, then that might work a little bit better for you, especially since you have this Tesla and this archer tower over here which both do air defense so I might try doing that because these are way too spread out over here you need one in uh, this area you almost want your your triangle to look like that see how it's more of an even triangle um, the mortars like I said look good uh, you've got uh, cannon archer cannon archer archer ah two archers right next to each other cannon archer cannon Cannon Archer so that's not too bad normally I would say don't put two of the same defense by each other but it's okay in certain scenarios I do like the symmetry of the base and whatnot uh, it looks good definitely need some upgrading but uh, otherwise it looks really really good I would definitely like I said move the uh, the wizard tower over in this direction somehow uh, and you should be good to go we're gonna move on to our last base now which is Dragon Master <laughs> we're gonna end up uh, really really low level right here but hey, that, those are some of the funnest levels being down here. Um, and one thing that I do notice, so all of this is symmetrical, right? But you've got this little portion up here that isn't so symmetrical. One thing I would definitely do, which you're doing up here at the top, but all of this is unnecessary, is you need to protect your wizard tower. So I would bring out some walls right here and then bring these walls in right here. So take one, two, three, four, five uh you should be able to do it maybe even if it's just like a line like this and a line like this just to protect that wizard tower a little bit more because you don't need to protect these as much if you're on an active um another thing all of these are way too close to each other one thing i always say is that you need to spread out your resources because otherwise people are just gonna drop off a bunch of archers right here boom all your loot's gone that's in those so take this barrack, put it right here. Uh, take, what else do we have? Um, take this spell factory, put it right here. Take this barrack, put it right here. And implement it in the manner of doing uh, resource, random building, resource, random building, resource, random building, resource, random building, all the way around so that if people want to attack your base and steal all your loot, it's going to take them a little bit longer to do so. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. Again, this is Base Reviews with Molt. You can send an email to that, basereviewswithmolt at gmo.com. 
uh, and I will work on getting those to you guys as much as possible. I'm not going to be able to review everyone, so if you see a base kind of like yours, uh, implement what I say. Implement what I say about the mortars, implement what I say about the wizard towers, all that kind of stuff, and it should help your base out. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and make sure that you keep calm and you clash on, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.